and welcome back to episode number six of Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. One more year we get smoke and vote. <laughs> and be sent overseas to shoot people. <laughs> and we're not even allowed to drink alcohol at that point in time. But that's fine because uh, who cares? Anyway, uh, for those of you that are watching us through the Facebook venue right now, I know some of you do, um, we got a couple things to say to you. Get out your wallet. Because we're going to start charging. <laughs> Please stop it. Stop it right now. Seriously. I think I didn't do as many as you did, yeah. but I think I did at least five. What, what were we doing this past weekend? Well, when we check our Facebook, which the, if you play with the new Facebook stuff, it's really cool. The timeline, if you don't have it set up, <laughs> do it. It's better. Actually, but, the timeline is cool, so yeah, but I agree. Neither here nor there. But if you were like me and hey, new Facebook stat, new Facebook story, whatever. Facebook has brought out new charging prices. We'll put up a sample here of whatever it says. You know, if you repost this, you're okay. If your um, Facebook icon turns blue, I don't know if you had to got that one. You're okay. You're not okay. Stop sending me this stuff. I had to. I don't just delete it. I mark it as spam. Like thirty. <laughs> 30 of my friends. How are they going to charge you? Where, where are they going to charge you? It, all my stuff has fake addresses and phone numbers. It doesn't really go to me. So just stop it. I, I had at least 30 friends. <laughs> Good riddance. Do you want to put that stuff up? I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, for the five or so that did it to me as well. Um, it, They'll never do it. Well, they, they could. They could in the, in the future if they wanted to, but they've, they've gone by the wayside of doing Facebook credits. It would really have to be a premium service. I mean, something that could really make you money. MySpace didn't do it. Friendster didn't do it. Google Plus isn't doing it. I just don't see social networking of any sort ever being able to do it unless there is something seriously that you are getting that is just an amazing service. So, yeah. If you ever post that again, we will punch you in the nose and come down and hunt you until we can hurt you. So, enough of the Facebook, because we're not talking about the redesign, because I've heard enough of it. Yes. I really have. But anyway, moving on. More of the most hated word that I have heard for the past mm, three months. iPhone 5. Actually, 4S. I'm still saying 4S. No 5. But anyway. You were talking earlier, Sprint. Yep. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't read this, so you know a little bit more than I do. So Sprint was. Well, Sprint's also had the rumor of the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5, which I also heard that they may be introduced together. We've got iPhone 5, but we've also geez. offered an iPhone 4S. With it. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Whatever. Well, as we were talking in the last episode, you know, Sprint gets the iPhone, keeps their unlimited plan. It's pretty much going to blow everyone else out of the water. To me, anyway, that's what I think. Yeah. Just because of them keeping it unlimited, and that's what we want with this device. We don't Plus, want these. just a thought on the side. Mm -hmm. Sprint's already technically 4G. Yeah. And it could have a future iPhone 4G. Just a thought. Yeah. Could be. So interviewers have been trying to get this out of Sprint for the longest time, and at another press conference in New York, that has still just tiptoed around the question. He was using words like, "If we get it, maybe." You know, just those words to throw you off the track there, the trail there. Then he talked about, now if we do get it, we will keep our unlimited plan. But if it's not making us money, we'll cut it. Ah. So Dan, Dan's still a businessman at heart. If it's not going to make him money, he will cut it. So there you go. Uh, it's just that, rumors. Yeah, that just means they'll cut it eventually. Because uh, it, it look at Verizon, look at AT&T. And obviously, they were losing money because they were allowing unlimited. So unfortunately, that that says to me, eh, they might do like what Verizon did for the first six months. Yeah. You can keep your unlimited, but then after that, you know, you'll keep it if you're grandfathered in. But you know, after that point, no longer. So. They may go by the way of Verizon saying unlimited up front, like they're saying right now. And then six yeah. months later go, mm, not anymore. But if you were in the first six months, you can still keep it. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, kind of like a grandfather at the end, kind of thing, like AT&T. And yeah, the other thing, uh, they're fixing to start, and this was a side note, I didn't even put it in our notes. AT&T is gonna start throttling back those grandfathered in unlimited users. 
Me. Yeah. I, I was that. pissed. I was like, what? You're doing what? We can't do this. We've been good friends this whole time. You keep grandfathering me in, I keep being happy. But now you want to go, uh, <laughs> you want to do the T-Mobile thing? What? I don't like you all of a sudden. Seriously, Sprint is starting to look a lot better. And I can transfer my number and I don't ever have to tell anybody that I changed services. So I'm just saying. Either way, speaking about services, guess who's still pumping out commercials like there ain't no tomorrow? Because really, there ain't no tomorrow for them. Hey, T-Mobile. Like I said, you don't burn the bridge, you burn the whole building. <laughs> <laughs> They're going out with a flame, brother. I mean, they, they still have new commercials coming out. Mm -hmm. They just launched like three or four brand new Android devices. Yep. Plus the Plum one. Did you see that? That I, <laughs> I, I was giving him a hard time. He likes phones that blink, and we actually missed this story a few weeks back. There's actually a new iPod uh, mod out there that can make your Apple on the back side of your phone like, blink. Cool. Yes. I liked it, and he liked it. So when T-Mobile announced this new, I can't even remember. I think it's HTC Rhyme. It was plum, purple, and designed for women. They couldn't say designed for women, but it was designed for women. Yes. And it came out with this little thing that... It's like a palm pixie. A it, man should not <laughs> have it in their hands at all. It had this thing that you plugged in on top of the phone. And this is for when it's in the purse, I think is how they said this. <laughs> <laughs> or your purse. Uh, you, you pop it in the top. And it just has like this, I guess, three to six inch long little string. Yeah. And it has a little light bulb that just goes bleep, bleep, bleep. You know, to let you know that you're getting a phone call. So if it's in your purse or purse... You can find it, I guess. I, I don't know. But T-Mobile, I don't know what you're doing. If you're just going out crazy, hey, you know, whatever. But, you know, I, I just, if you guys are going to be bought by iPhone, or be bought by iPhone, <laughs> you guys are going to be bought by AT&T. Plus, even the CEO said, speaking of iPhone, again, the CEO said, 2011, no iPhone. Yeah. Whatsoever. So, sorry, T-Mobile, you ain't getting it. Alan here seems to think that because AT&T is going to buy T-Mobile, he'll get it eventually. They'll get it. But oh, we got three months left. I don't think it's going to happen. It's just it's just not going to happen. I, I don't see it happening. So I agree with the CEO. Um, so T-Mobile going out with a plane. So we'll see what happens. Well, another company trying to make some dollars before they, <laughs> before they leave is Realm, otherwise known as BlackBerry. Yep, one of the most popular uh, smartphones out there. So they introduced their tablet called the Playbook, and they had a pretty big uh, marketing campaign for it, uh, I remember. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> but it seems that they're going to the side of um, the HP's uh, WebOS tablet. That yeah, the touchpad. Drove everybody insane with the $99 price. Even me. Yep. BlackBerry's currently sitting on 800,000 unsold units. So uh, they got to get rid of them somehow. And I see another one of those coming on. They haven't went to 99 yet. Um, I think they went to, what was it? 300 $300. And with a $100 discount from Office Depot, if you, if you get it Office Depot. Yeah, Office Plus Depot. Plus $100 gift card. Staples is doing the same thing. I don't know about the gift card thing, but they are doing that instant discount thing. So... It, it may be a good time to buy because they may not go any lower or it may be time to wait and wait for that magical $100 HP you know fire sale yeah it just keep uh, that's a story I'll keep my eye on just to get a cheap tablet yeah another tablet that is uh, I, I've never played with one so I may actually have to hit a Staples or Office Depot on the way home just to see <laughs> but uh, hey another another cheap tablet out there so we'll see what happens keep your eye on it Blackberry you know, they'll go out in flames too. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Two companies that are not going out in flames. Well, one kind of is, and the other one's still looking for a buyer. Uh, just splitting. <laughs> As we talked about last week, Netflix has now split into Quickster and Netflix. But Netflix is going to keep on marching down the road because they have just announced Brain on DreamWorks 2013. They will be bringing DreamWorks to all Netflix devices, your iPhones, your Androids, yeah. Xboxes, your Wii, smart TVs. Your smart TVs, whatever that has the Netflix app. So 2013, DreamWorks is gonna be on your Netflix. The other company that I'm talking about is Hulu. 
they're doing the streaming thing, and mm -hmm. actually I pay both both of those separately, eight and eight, for their streaming. So Hulu today and now. For the last segment, and for the end of this week's show, we have a brand new segment for you, and we don't know if we'll be able to do it every week. <laughs> Hopefully not. But we'll be able to do it as much as we can. We like to call this segment, Hometown, Hometown Heroes. Heroes. That's right. Both of us obviously don't live in our hometowns. We have moved away. We have gone away and for purposes like this. You want to do yours first or mine? Oh, let's start with yours. Okay. It's closer. All right. Routers or routers or whatever for you, you know, whatever. But anyway, is reporting, get this, some people have complained about the changes in Facebook, but not Rolanda Hill, who uses the social media site to seek help after an armed robber broke into her home and stole her cell phone and took it away. She's 20, was alone in her Chattanooga, Tennessee, my hometown, apartment Sunday night, when she heard a knock at the door. She did not see anyone in the peephole, the police said. When she went to open the door, a gunman stuck a gun through the door and forced his way in. All right. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. <laughs> when she went, I already read that, but police spokesman Sergeant Jerry Weary said in a statement, once inside, he demanded her money at gunpoint. And while he took it, he took her cell phone. After the robber left, Hill reported to the crime on Facebook to her friends and asked them to call police. Police responded on Monday the next day and looking for the robber. Attempts to reach Hill on Monday for a Facebook status update were unsuccessful. I, I went back and forth with a friend of mine who's probably going to see this and comment back. Yeah. She was like, well, you, you, that's her own cell phone. She doesn't have any way other way, so Facebook was her way. And I'm like, if someone robs me, call the 911. Of course, I have a home phone and another cell phone. So you or you go to a neighbor. Or a call. neighbor. Or you find somebody oh, who's well, almost been shot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you dial up? There's so many things wrong with this. Yeah, yeah, there's so many things wrong with this story. It's ridiculous, and you see why. why uh, well, I guess he took the phone so she couldn't call. Yeah, so she doesn't. I was thinking the story, why did he just take the phone? Maybe there's some video on there of him. Yeah, maybe. you never know. Yeah. It, I can go the way of, yeah, that's her only phone. But if you get robbed and you contact me through Facebook, guess what? I yeah, am. The police aren't going to show up <laughs> until Friday. <laughs> Because I might miss a message or something, or two. You yeah, know, uh, th that's just too many variables. And that's a <laughs> Moving on to story number two, not in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Alan, what you got for us? Dateline, Sweet Springs, Missouri, close to St. Louis. I'm from Missouri. Here we go. A Missouri woman is behind bars after her son, her son, Brought her okay. Show and tell. What'd you bring to show and tell? What would you bring to show and tell in, in kindergarten? Uh, like baseball uh, cards. Uh, probably you know micro machine cards that I had collected. A toy. That a toy. You, yeah. You something you know. Something, something you I like. With. Okay. Let's go with that. All right. So what her son brought to show and tell was a crack pipe. I'm sorry. What? Crack pipe. Can you repeat that a little bit slower so they can hear that again? Brought her crack pipe and <laughs> what's a crack pipe good with? Drugs. The drugs. Oh, the crack. He brought the crack pipe and the crack. <laughs> All right, you're four years old. Show and tell. Some guy just you know brought the baseball cards or, or Hot Wheels or or even a, a Game Boy or something, something like that. Jeez. All right, here comes this kid. We don't have a I crack don't have pipe. a crack pipe. Yeah, we don't have but. a crack pipe. <laughs> we'll just call this a crack pipe. <laughs> so this is my mom's favorite thing. She always has this. And she was asleep 
maybe he was all right. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring it in and show everybody, you know. This is what my mom does. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he was like, you know, because some kids are proud of their parents for certain things they do. My dad's a firefighter. My dad's a policeman. Yeah. My dad can beat up your dad. You know, that style of thing. I, I'm sure that's what the kid, you know, kid just saw the mom enjoys doing this. Apparently she does it in front of the kid a lot or something like that. <laughs> it's horrible. And it's the worst thing ever. I can't believe it. <laughs> and... I'm All sorry, right. I can't. I can't hold. That's just bad. That's true. It's a real hometown hero right oh, here. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, crack pipe. Andrew runs the kindergarten for show and tell. Jeez. So what'd she get? Uh, right now she's charged with felony possession of a controlled substance and endangering the welfare of a child. Let's let's show this lady's picture off real quick. Yeah. Hometown hero. Hometown hero. So now we have a badge for you, and this is it. Hometown hero. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta get out of your hometown. Yes, <laughs> just stay away. My ten year reunion's coming up, and I'm thinking about not going just because of that. But either way, that's pretty much all that we had this week. Make sure you follow us online. We've got how many? Four. I'll do two. You do two. Can you do that? I'll do right. Facebook.com/slash/textnationTV, Twitter.com/slash/textnationTV, YouTube.com/slash/textnationTV. And the website. Oh, and textnation.tv. That's right. So follow us any way you can. Like I said, put, throw it up on our wall. Hit us up on the wall, whatever. Find us on Twitter. I do most of the Twitter posting, so I'll take care of that. He'll do some of the Facebook stuff, so he's on there more than anything. So find us there. Follow us. Add more friends, please. Send some more likes our way. We yeah. need some more publicity. And we've got ideas for upcoming episodes. Maybe a TV might sit here one day. Maybe we might have a phone call in where we leave out a telephone number and you guys can call in and ask for questions. I saw that on another podcast. I think it's a good idea. So we'll see. And we've got some other upgrade ideas that just cost money and time that we don't really technically have right now. So, But just you know, stay in line, and we're going to try to keep the episodes pumping out as much as we can. Yeah. And maybe 2012 will be a little bit more uh, scheduled, as it were, <laughs> we hope. So we'll see you again for episode 18. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, make sure you hit us up online.